Let's translate Romans 8, 38 and 39. Papis me gar oti ute thanatos ute zoe, ute angeli ute arche, ute enestote enestota ute melonta ute dinamis, ute ipsoma ute batos ute tis tisis etera, denisete imas chorise, apotis agapis tu theu, tis en Christo Jesu to kirio imon. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor the present nor the future. You could translate this nor things present nor things future because these are both neuter nor powers nor height nor depths nor any other created Thing, ignore any other created thing or being will be able to separate us from the love of God. That love of God is found in Christ Jesus our Lord. So this is Papisme, which is from Pitho. It's first singular, perfect middle passive indicative to persuade, believe, or trust, convince with accusative of person. Uh, we don't have an accusative of person here, but perfect passive, papisme, to attain certainty in reference to something, be convinced, to be certain, followed by accusative and infinitive, with OT following, there we go, that's what we have right here, so, to attain certainty, I'm certain, for I am certain that neither death nor life, now, ute is special, Ute, 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 neither, nor, 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 nor. Although I like to think of this, Thanatos, so neither death nor life, neither angels nor rulers, neither the present nor the future. However, once you get to ute dinamis, it breaks that mold. Ute dinamis just stands out and sticks out like a sore thumb. So it's not a bunch of pairs, although it's it begins that way, or it seems to be that way, and then all of a sudden, ute dinamis breaks that mold. Then we return to our pairs. Ute ipsoma, the height. Ute bathos, the depths. And then we have another odd, odd mind, oddball, or odd man out. We have ute tis, tisis etera. So there's no parallel for ute tis tisis etera. Now thanatos meaning death, life, zoe meaning life, in death nor life. This covers all aspects of living. Angels nor rulers. Uh, these are uh, angels being the messengers of, of God, part of the divine realm, the spiritual realm, supernatural realm, but so are the arche, since angels can also be princes that oversee nations. The present, these are the things uh, that are occurring, nor the things that are about to be, that is the future, nor the powers. Here again, powers can be part of the uh, divine realm, the supernatural realm. Uh, although you can translate dinamis uh, along, along military lines. But I think what it's what we're getting at here is angels, rulers, and powers. Uh, these are supernatural beings. So whether it's the things of ordinary life from death to life, the things of supernatural life, angels, rulers, powers, whether we're talking about time, present, or future, whether we're talking about the heights or the depths, Heights here being like the heavens. The space above the horizon, the world above. This is the domain of many transcendent forces. Again, supernatural, just like we see with Angeli Arche Dinamis. But then we also have Bathos. This is the underworld. So we have 
the space or distance beneath a surface, the depth, since they are said to be creatures and the context speaks apparently only of transcendent forces, they're probably astral spirits, height nor depths, bathos could be used of soil, also the depths of the sea, nor any other, other here, a terra, created thing, thesis, creation, that which is created, will be able, Paul is saying, will not be able, death will not be able, life will not be able, angels will not be able, rulers will not be able, the present, the future, powers, heights, depths, any other created thing will not be able to separate us. Separate here can be like to divorce. Here we see separate, leave, divide. Paul saying, I'm convinced that nothing in creation, this is whether physical or supernatural, will be able to separate us, to divorce us, to divide us from God's love. God's love gets the final word. Where is that love found? It's found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. It's translated from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. It communicates here source. This love is sourced in Jesus Christ. We're going to move the conjunction up front. Then we've got our main verb, papisme. Now we've got a relative clause. I'm convinced that. Okay, now we have a series of utes. So we're going to show that here. Ute thanatos. Ute zoe. Ute angeli. Ute arche. Ute enestota. Uh, Ute malonta. Ute dinamis. Ute ipsoma. Ute. Bathos, Ute, Tis, Tisis, Terra. None of these are able. I'll just put it down here to separate. Us. So we have will be able with the infinitive chorise to separate and then our accusative us. And then we have a prepositional phrase from the love. That love is of God. And then you can see Tis here. Oops. Tis makes N Christo parallel to Agapis. Yesu, although it looks like it's genitive, it's actually dative. We know that because of the construction. In Christ Jesus. I've run out of space, so I'm just going to put it down below here. So, apotis agapis, apotis en Christo Jesu to hirio imon. So, tu theu modifies agapis. 
Imon modifies Kirio. But we have an entire prepositional phrase here. Tis en Christo Jesu to Kirio. This entire prepositional phrase is basically in apposition to agapis here. We know that because of the connecting definite article. Tis agapis, tis en Christo Jesu to Kirio Imon. For I am convinced, I am certain that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor the present, nor the future, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. If you liked this video, please let me know by liking the video and tell me in the comments and tell me what verse you would like to see translated next. I'll be watching. If you haven't already, check out the videos I have that teach you how to handle Biblical Hebrew and Biblical Greek. They're free. They're available right here. Check them out, and we'll see you next time.